there. It is me. My name is Teacher Razak, and we are here on another episode. Today's topic, very, very, very interesting. Today's topic, we are talking about leadership. Ooh, very important, right? Leadership, especially today. Now, I'll start with this. When I say the word leadership, what do you think of? Leadership, what do you think of? I'll tell you what I think of sometimes or what a lot of people think of, right? A lot of people think about people in the government, right? Our government has lots of leaders, right? Well, a lot of times we'll think about the president, right? the president of Taiwan, right? She is a leader, right? This person right here, as you probably may know, this is Joe Biden, right? President of the United States. Behind him, you can see the vice president, Kamala Harris. And you can see Speaker of the House, Congress, Nancy Pelosi, right? These are also leaders. Some people think about doctors, right, as leaders, right? Or even teachers, right? Some people see us as leaders. And very, very common parents, right? Mom, dad, all these are leaders. Now, I have another question for you. Freedom. What does freedom mean to you? And what do you think is the connection between freedom and leadership? I'll tell you what I think, right? Freedom. I think that freedom helps us feel joy, right? Real freedom helps us feel happy in the present moment. Freedom helps us relax, right? Can slow down. Freedom, I think, can be found in nature, right? You might say, Teacher Razak, what do you mean? Well, when you go outside, right, and you see the sun and you see the birds and the trees and the plants and the earth, right? I think that nature is a great place to experience freedom. Why? Because nature honestly will not judge you. And nature is in the flow. Nature, I'll tell you what, <laughs> the sun doesn't care how much money you have in your bank account, right? I say this all the time. Sun doesn't care how much money you have in your bank account. The birds don't care what job you have. And the trees don't care what you do for a living, right? Nature, I think, is a place where we all can find freedom. Teacher Razak really likes nature, right? I like to go outside. I like to be with the trees. I like to put my feet in the earth. I like to go outside, charge with the sun, breathe, right? These are some of the things that help make me feel free. But let's keep going. <laughs> Freedom helps us feel good, right? It helps us feel joy. It helps us relax. It helps us connect to our well-being. Now, what is real freedom, right? What is real freedom? I want to share a quick little video by, oh, look at that, Teacher Razak. Let's watch this video together, shall we?
Hmm. What do you think? Agree? Disagree? I made this video because for me personally, I feel like real freedom, real leadership is within. Something that is inside every single one of us. But we have to have the courage to listen and to trust ourselves. I wanna share a short, short story, all right? This right here, this is me, all right? This is me in high school. And as you can see, I have my nice little smile, I have my nice little haircut, my nice little suit, my nice little awards, and I'm shaking hands with the principal. Now, for me in high school, I grew up and, right, I got good grades, right? And I got awards. And I went to college, I went to Harvard. And I did all these things to make my parents happy, yes, but also because I thought I had to, you know, follow the rules. And if I did that, then I would get the awards and then I would have a good job and I would get good money and all that would make me very happy and I would feel free. But I learned very quickly that that wasn't the case. Because I realized that freedom after a while comes within and it comes, it's a journey, right? It comes by knowing ourselves and trusting ourselves. Right? So this person right here, I love him very much, but he wasn't free. This person, not real. This person, not real. This, <laughs> more real. So I feel that freedom comes from knowing ourselves, comes from being ourselves, and knowing that each and every one of us, right? You are your own best leader. You are your own best leader. Yes, there are people, right? Like our parents, like our teachers, like people in our government that sometimes are there to help. But at the end of the day, you are your own best leader. You can trust yourself. You can trust your own intuition, right? A lot of times leaders are corrupt. Not all the time. There are some leaders that have good intentions, right? But some leaders are corrupt and they care about money, right? And they care about power. And we see this today in our time, right? But I think it comes down to this, trusting yourself, trusting yourself. Now, I don't think trusting yourself is always easy. I know for myself, it's not, it's, it's a process, right? It's like, ah, if I trust myself, then I take full responsibility that if I mess up, you're telling me it's my fault. I have to take the blame. I can't blame it on my parents. I can't blame it on the government. I can't blame it on my teachers. I can't blame it on my doctor. But yeah, trusting yourself. Knowing yourself. I think this is uh, the journey that we're all on, knowing who we are, knowing our own worth. It's a process.
But I talk about this because I think that we all have this power, right? Every single human being, it doesn't matter what race you are, how old you are, where you live, what country you're from, what gender you are, what you believe in, we all have this power inside of us, right? Is a light, is a spark, is an energy. And I find that if we can have the courage to look inside, find it and say, yes, yes to this. Yes, I trust myself. Yes, I trust my own intuition. Yes, I trust my power. Right? Then we're less likely to go and give our power away. We're less likely to give it away to people, right, in our government, to people, right, in Congress, to people outside of us, to our teachers, to our parents. So today's class was on leadership, trust, and freedom. I have two questions for you. Feel free to answer them in the comments. The first thing is, what do you like about yourself? What's one thing that you like about yourself? I'll tell you for me. One thing I like about myself, I think I have a lot of empathy. I think I'm able to feel emotions very, very deeply. Growing up, I didn't like it because a lot of people would make fun of me and say, oh, you're too sensitive but I'm realizing that it's a superpower. And then the more I take care of it and the more I learn how to work with it and the more I ground, the more I'm able to use that power for good. Second question, what do you think is one of your strengths? What do you think is one of your strengths? I'll tell you mine. I think that I'm very, very creative. I think that I'm very, very creative. I think I'm able to go with the flow. Very, very flexible. And I'm learning with that strength and being creative also has to come discipline. Also has to come structure. Also has to come organization. Mixing them together. So today I talked about a lot. <laughs> We talked about leadership, right? People in our government, our presidents, doctors, teachers, parents. We talked about freedom. What does freedom mean to you, All right? I know for me, I know I find freedom in nature with the trees, with the sun, with the plants, right? And I shared with you all my story about the journey that I'm on and I believe all of us are on, which is the journey of being our own best leader, trusting ourselves and knowing ourselves, knowing our self-worth. This class, I will admit, a little bit all over the place, but these are just some thoughts that I have. Leadership. Most important part is you are your own best leader. Yes, respect people outside of you. Respect people older than you. Respect your teachers, your parents. But remember that you are your best leader. That's what I have for you guys today. That's today's message. My name is Teacher Razak. If you're seeing this, I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful, powerful day. Take care. Peace.